Today on the channel, we're going to upgrade the pickups in this fake ESP Kirk Hammett Ouija board guitar. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take the pickups out of this fake ESP Kirk Hammett Ouija board guitar. This is a ESP uh, Chibson, basically a Chinese ESP that I bought for about 250 bucks on eBay, maybe a year ago, a year or so ago, and the pickups are um, actually terrible. But I wound up taking them out and I put in some Epiphone Pro Buckers. The Pro Buckers sound decent, but they're not heavy enough. So I've got me some Seymour Duncan black winter pickups that I'm going to install in this thing this evening. And it'll give this guitar the uh, Metallica vibe, the real heavy vibe that it needs. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to demonstrate what these pickups sound like first before I take them out. I wish I had a demo uh, that I could show you of the original pickups. They were very weak sounding, very thin, and they had a really bad hum, a really bad buzz. Turns out they were two single coils wired together. It was the weirdest uh, pickup configuration and setup I'd ever seen in any type of uh, fake or foreign made guitar. Uh, I wound up taking the covers off of these pickups to get the, uh, the old Chinese pickups out of the housing. And you'll see when I take these out that these are just lids to maintain the Ouija board pattern on the guitar itself. So I had to get really creative with it. So hopefully these will fit on the uh, Black Winters perfectly. So first let's take a listen to what this thing sounds like with these Pro Buckers in it and then we'll do a uh, pickup install real quick on camera then we'll do a demonstration with the Black Winters. Hopefully it'll make a big difference. I'm pretty confident it will and turn this guitar into the shred beast that it needs to be. But overall this guitar plays really nice the frets are excellent it looks great all the pickup or electronics in it are nice the tremolo system is is okay so hopefully it'll uh, transform this to the shredder that i want it to be and hopefully uh, do some jamming here for halloween coming up cool let's go all right here we are in the studio we're ready to go i've got it plugged into the fractal x8 if you're familiar with my channel i use my fractal x8 for almost all my videos I've got it running through a Friedman BE patch that's got a lot of high gain. So this guitar should really scream with some hot pickups. But what you're going to hear, what I think you're going to hear, is it's going to be kind of a classic rock, nice, brittle breakup. Nothing wrong with these pickups, just not the vibe that we're looking at, looking for, not the vibe I'm looking for with this guitar. So let's check out the, uh, the bridge pickup. Now these are miles ahead of what the pickups were that were in this guitar. The, the pickups that this came with, they were just terrible. I had a set of these Pro Buckers sitting around. So it was a quick fix. You know, I put those in here. Alright, so let's check out the neck. with these pickups. They're not bad. There's the middle position. These pickups are just uh, two wire pickups, so there's no splitting. It's just either neck, middle, or, or bridge. Uh, try a little chugging. It's not quite there. You know, on a different guitar, these pickups would be just fine, but when you pick this guitar up, you, you just want it to scream. So. I don't like active pickups, so I think the Black Winners are some of the hottest pickups that you can put in a guitar that aren't active, and I don't want to wire this for active pickups. So, um... Let's begin. Let's put the uh, black winners in here. Then we'll do a demo afterwards and see if it chugs a little bit better. All 
Okay, these are the Black Winter pickups. You can tell that they're Black Winters because they have the script Seymour Duncan logos on the front. On the back of each pickup, they're labeled as such. I'm trying to focus on this. On the back side of this one, sorry for all the noise. We're going to put them in here. So what I'm going to do is take these covers off of these pickups because I've already cut these off of the pickups that were in it before, which was interesting to say the least. So I'm going to loosen up these strings and uh, with my soldering iron, I'm going to desolder these pickups from the, the pots on the inside and mount these new Black Winters in the guitar. So let's do it. Okay, this is going to be a really uh, easy job, honestly, because these pickups are going to be uh, basically just wired to each pot. There's the, these are the volume pots right here, and we've got one lug here that we got to solder uh, the hot wire to, and then the ground wire to each to the top of each pot. This is the original tiny pot that came in this guitar. I put a larger pot in here because it was defective. It was really scratchy, so I replaced that center pot with uh, a pot that I had laying around in my parts bin. So this cheap little three-way switch is factory, and it's wired to the pots already. So it's just basically two solder points for each pickup, and we're good to go. Piece of cake. So I'm going to unsolder and disconnect each pickup wire from each pot, pull the pickups out, and reattach and resolder the uh, pickups as seen here, the black winners. Okay, so check this out. Here are the pickups that came out of the, the ESP, the fake ESP. And these caps right here, I fastened with some double-sided 3M tape. It's like this gooey tape. And these are just the caps from the old pickups that came in the guitar originally. I wanted to retain the look of the Ouija board and I wanted uh, you know, the, the front of these pickups to look the same way. And the only way I could do it was to cut these tops off of the old pickups because they were completely covered top to bottom, those old pickups in this plastic casing. And when you flip the other pickups upside down, it was entirely covered in, you know, filled with like, it looked like JB Weld or wax. And they were really cheap pickups, so you couldn't get the, the tops off of them. It was the full length of the, the top to bottom on those pickups, that, that casing that these things were in. So I took it, uh, took them and put them in a vise, and I cut the tops of these pickups off. So now what I can do is I can take these black winners, and when they go in, they'll go in like this. Like, like this and then all I've got to do is line up you know these conveniently you know snap on the tops of these pickups and then they'll they'll fasten on there and, st and stay on there with a double-sided tape as well so when I snap these on like this and put them in the guitar I'll have these black winners covered with these pickups. It'd be pretty cool if someone manufactured these types of caps <laughs> for pickups so you could make your own Ouija board guitars or replace pickups in the, the Chinese ones easier. So that's the secret right there. So I'm going to go ahead and get these uh, fastened back on, onto these, reattached back onto these uh, black winner pickups and then I'll stick them in the, the Ouija board guitar and solder them in and they should work just fine and look cool and be hot, so cool. Okay, so here's this double-sided 3M tape, okay? It's uh, really nice for projects like this. I'm gonna take a piece of it and stick it on one of these pickup covers. Then I just have to peel the other side off of it when I mount the cover on top of the pickup itself. So now I've got these on. This is the uh, plastic stuff that doesn't feel sticky. So I'm going to peel this off and I'm going to put these on each pickup. I've got to figure out which one's the bridge and which one is the, the neck. That one says NK, so that's our neck pickup. 
And this one is the bridge. Just make sure. Yep, that one's the bridge. Cool. So they're going to go on like this. These essentially just, they snap on. They're going to snap on like that. And then from that point, it's just run the wires through the guitars and wire them into the, onto the pots and uh, tune it up. So let me get these covers on there first, make sure they look good. Okay, we have success. The covers are on the Black Winter pickups and they're ready to go inside the guitar. Looks good. Okay, so here we go. I jumped ahead just a little bit. I skipped a segment uh, that was just brief uh, because I've had some problems with my microphone <laughs> tonight for some odd reason. But anyway, the black winners are installed. They look really nice. Uh, they're nice and level. Hopefully they sound, sound nice and, and a lot heavier. I'm sure they will, but we'll find out here in just a moment. I wound up setting the guitar up again. It's tuned to standard, so I set this Floyd Rose up for standard tuning. And my next my next step, I think, on this guitar is going to be changing out this Floyd Rose. So maybe I'll do a video on that. If you want to see a video on that, let me know. But I've got a spare Floyd Rose. I think I'm going to stick on this guitar and go from there. But yeah, the Black Winners are on the guitar. This thing is in standard tuning now, and... Hopefully this will be what I'm looking for. So let's plug it in and, and see if these uh, pickups really sound great. See what the difference is. Let's check it out. Okay, so here we are back in the lab. Once again, we're going to test out the Black Winners. I have a feeling these things are going to be smoking hot compared to those Pro Buckers. So here we go. Bridge pickup. <laughs> Yeah, definitely a whole lot more gain, uh, a lot more presence. Let's check out the chug. Pickup. These pickups are really hot. I love these a lot better and uh, it's going to make this guitar more playable for me for metal and a lot of the shreddy stuff. So nice upgrade. Next thing I'm going to do is replace this Floyd Rose and I think I'm going to have myself a gigging machine here. Awesome. <laughs> If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. Please like the video and comment below. And until next time, have a great day. Peace out.